So I've sat on here before that one of my favorite ugly American things to do is when it's really hot, uh, turn the air conditioning up so cold that you have to wear a hoodie inside. But, you know, someone who isn't ugly, uh, Irv Smith Jr., who is a damn pretty American, by the way, a uh, second round pick out of Alabama, ready to ascend the heights and firmly take up the mantle as the most versatile tight end in the National Football League. And uh, it's gonna be, he's going to be a phenomenal weapon uh, for the Vikings, doing number 84 proud. The legend of Cordero Patterson lives on. Oh, sorry, 84, Michael Jenkins. Yeah. So uh, Irv had a nice rookie season, 36 catches, 311 yards, as well as two touchdowns on 47 targets, as well as his blocking was really ahead of the curve. Like that was one of the major concerns about him coming out of Alabama, where uh, even though he didn't test great, he did have a nice uh, nose for the football as as well as racking yards after catch. But being slightly undersized, uh, being 6'2 and a little bit light, uh, they're like, all right, so can he uh, hang and bang down the trenches as a true inline tight end? And yeah, uh, he was fully revved up ready to go uh plus they used him all over the place they did move irv smith around quite a bit uh he played 684 of the vikings uh, 1024 offensive snaps in 2019 uh 66.8 percent which makes him a de facto starter like on paper he he started uh, seven games but he, he was a big part of the offense and uh like like we mentioned they used him all over the place he was an inline tight end 425 of those snaps he was in the slot uh, 188 snaps which was a massive increase once adam Thielen went out he was one of the uh players that supplemented uh 19 missing some time with the hamstring injury as well as Ursmith smith was lined up out wide 68 snaps as well as even h back uh three snaps last season so he he showed off his versatility uh early and it, it's really where we're tight ends because if you play a lot of fantasy football that you know that tight ends rookies usually not great in terms of uh fantasy production and Irv uh, obviously w- was not uh phenomenal in terms of fantasy output but the Vikings usage of him as well as trusting him learning multiple positions it, it was really impressive, and I think it speaks uh, to the maturity as well as how they, they feel about Irv Smith uh, in this offense going forward, as well as you know Gary Kubiak throughout the years has been phenomenal uh, implementing tight ends. You look at Shannon Sharp uh, back in Denver. You look at uh, Owen Daniels uh, with Houston. You look at whoever was in Baltimore 2014. I'm sure they had a good tight end. Probably. Yeah. Uh, as well as you look at uh, what was his name? Oh, Julius Thomas. Yeah, nailed it. Uh, perpetual fantasy disappointment, Julius Thomas, uh, when they won a Super Bowl uh, with the Broncos. So uh, I think that Kubiak sees Irv Smith Jr. and his skill set be like, hmm, we can do this. Yeah, and, and obviously they do like him as a traditional tight end, uh, but also it does help that the Vikings um, ran a lot of 22, 12, and 13 personnel, uh, frankly, a league leading uh, 45.3% of their snaps in 2019. I don't see that necessarily changing maybe that decreases a little bit a little bit more 11 personnel uh, mixed in there as Kubiak had mentioned but yeah they love running multiple tight ends and Irv Smith makes it really easy uh, when you got 84 in the mix and the Vikings did a good job last year the Stefanski Kufanski offense uh, incorporating 82 and 84 on the field at the same time uh, because of the matchup so like when you take the field with two tight ends generally you're going to be facing uh, the other team's base defense so you're going to get Irv on a linebacker who's a step too slow, you're going to get him on a safety who's uh, a little bit too small. And you like those matchups. You, you like that? Matchups, yeah. And also, we haven't even seen the best usage of Irv Smith yet because if you go back to his Bama tape, especially 2018, uh, him and Tua Tagovailoa uh, just hitting up Irv down the seam. Woo! Sexy time. So I think Irv is an extremely underrated deep threat uh, and could help supplement uh, uh, Stefan Diggs uh, and his uh, deep ball presence last year. So it's going to be a part of Irv Smith. It's going to be a part of BC. It's going to be part uh, of Justin Jefferson, and it's going to be good. As well as you look at all the other you know, top tight ends in the league. You look at Kittle, Ertz, Kelsey, uh, Gronk even. They're almost exclusively inline tight ends. Like them showing off the verse still is like, oh, they split out Kelsey. Yeah. He lined up at wide receiver. Oh, my goodness. But Irv can be used as a traditional inline tight end. He can line up at the X. He can line up at the Z. Uh, he can line up in the slot. He, he really is a true blue joker, move, F tight end, whatever you want to call it, uh, as well as even lining up in the backfield. Or, hell, I would even love to see Irv Smith line up at tailback. You know, shades of Aaron Hernandez. Broke in the day before, you know, things happened, right? So, uh, and, and this is... Uh, 
I believe is going to be a passing of the torch year. Uh, I think that you're going to see Irv take on more and more of the starter role. Uh, I wouldn't be shocked if Irv outsnaps Rudy this year. Uh, and then Rudy uh, you know, still has that you know, leadership factor as well as he still remains a nice complimentary piece, especially down in the red zone. But I, I could see the passing. 84, uh, 82 gives way to 84. Uh, and, and then Zimmer you know, talked uh, talked up Irv Smith a couple weeks ago about uh, getting those mismatches, about getting him on tight ends, getting him on safeties, or hell, even getting him in cornerbacks. Because uh, think about the Vikings' like future 11 personnel. So you got Thielen, you got Jefferson, you got Ola B.C. Johnson as your three receivers. You got Dalvin, uh, as, maybe Madison, uh, as well as Irv Smith as your tight end. All of a sudden, they come out and they're, they're spread five wide. So what are you going to do? Uh, how are you going to cover Dalvin Cook singled up against a linebacker or safety? Same thing with Irv Smith. Too fast for a tight end, too strong for a safety, uh, and obviously going to dominate a cornerback. So, wha- so what are you going to do? Hmm? That's, what, that's what I love about this, man. Because not only do the Vikings have a lot of great young talent on offense and defense, by the way, uh, but just the versatility. You know, With Dalvin, you look at Irv, you look at the wide receivers as well. I say bring it on. A massive breakout year for 84. If you're in fantasy... Take a shot on Earth Smith, especially if you're in a PPR. Boom. All right, so your thoughts, Earth Smith Jr., your two breakout. Uh, let us know in the comments section below. Subscribe for daily Vikings takes. Want to support that work? Pull some of the Venmo. But until next time, Skull, production value.